up? It's Elite Fox here. Welcome back to the Great Meadow. And today we got a little Pokemon Wi-Fi battle for you here. Um, so basically I've been wanting to do one of these for a long time. And yes, the quality is pretty bad because I don't have a capture card. Because, you know, I, I, I don't need that. I just use st stupid camera. So basically the team that I was kind of running was... I have like basically a status... Venomoth, who's basically just got Stun Spore and Sleep Powder. We got a Scrafty, who knows a variety of moves to catch people off guard. He's got Dig, he's got Brick Break, he's got Dragon Claw, and he's got Knock Off, so good for those pesky people with the, those leftovers and Toxic Orbs and stuff. So, and then we have Arduino, which is basically my healer tank. He basically tanks, like, a ton of hits. And he's got Substitute, and he's got um, Heal Bell, which heals stats problems of Pokemon, so that's pretty good. I've got Metagross, so I'm just set up my Stealth Rocks there. I got Hydreigon for some nice stab on my Dragon moves. And we've got Electrode, who's basically this uh, stupid fast mother flipper over here who's going in and paralyzing people and setting off Electro Balls with that speed. So, this was actually one of my first Wi Fi battles, so. Um, I, di I didn't exactly know I was gonna go, but I, I knew my team was pretty good. So here we go. So he leads with um, a Cacturn, and I'm gonna go with my Electrode because I always like to get that Thunder Wave. And so I'm gonna go for Thunder Wave here, as, per, as is per usual. And he's gonna get paralyzed, which is exactly what I want. And he's gonna go for Cotton Spore, and I was like, oh, okay. So he knows I want to use Electra Ball. So I was like, well, I ain't having none of that. But he gets the Parahax. I mean, I get the Parahax, he gets paralyzed, and it goes straight for the Volt Switch. I was like, I ain't having none of that with my lower speed. So I'd basically just take Electra out here, and I'm gonna go straight into Mega Gross, Mega Gross to set up my Stealth Rocks, and this is where. I actually ended up 6-0 sweeping him, because he went for Sucker Punch, and it failed, obviously, because I switched out, and I went for Stealth Rocks, because, you know, I gotta set them up, and he went for Sucker Punch again, and I was like, dude. So I get I get a free Iron Defense, and my Metagross is actually really fast, so I get two, meta, um, two of Iron Defenses off here, and it's looking pretty good for my team here. So he's just gonna get the Parahax again, and he is not looking too good, so he's gonna switch out there. And he's gonna bring in his Mawile, and he's gonna go for an Intimidate, I think he wants to lower my attack. But, as you can see, I got Clear Body on my Metagross, so that isn't gonna do Jack Donkey. And I'm gonna go straight for that Earthquake to one-hit KO this Mawile right here. So that's that's pretty much it for Mawile there, now. Didn't didn't come into any play for that guy. So he goes into Armaldo here, and I I didn't have I forgot what type it was. So I just went for Earthquake, not realizing it would be weak to steel. I got the AC coming on here because it's hot. It's hot in California, man. It's hot. So he just went for the brine there, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go for Meteor Mesh, and then I find out, oh, it's weak to steel. So there you go. There's me not knowing my typings. So that I mean, I guess it worked out. Still killed it. Metagross is like barely taking any damage. This is where things got interesting. He sends it his Hitmonlee. I was like, uh oh. Maybe it's got like ice kick punch something. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I, I thought for some reason it had like ice punch and it was gonna hurt. And I, was, I don't even know what I was thinking. It can't even learn ice punch. It's got legs. But um, so he sends in his Hariyama here. And this is where it got a little tense for me, because I went for the Earthquake. And Earthquake does a decent amount of damage, but it's not what I would have liked. And he goes for Heavy Slam. This literally makes no sense. Heavy Slam does damage based on, like, the weight. And I weigh him by 653 pounds. And he lives this. He lives this Meteor Mash. And I was like, oh god, Rocky Helmet damage. And then he goes for Reversal. I was like, oh Jesus. But Metagross got those two iron defenses off and not not even going to hurt him. So we're going to just go straight for that Earthquake. And that's going to be a dead-ass Hariyama right there. So so that was kind of weird. Uh, Metagross weighs like 1,200 pounds and Hariyama weighs like 550. So I don't really know what he was doing with Heavy Slam there. But he's going to 
He's gonna bring his clay doll. I'm just gonna hit him with a meteor mash here. And we're gonna absolutely wreck this guy. With he's gonna go for psychic, trying to look for some stab maybe, but Metagross tanks that like a beast. And we're just gonna hit this guy with a meteor mash straight to the face. And that's gonna be a pretty dead clay doll over there. Trying to wink at me. Get out of here. So then he's gonna finally bring back out the cacturn. And Metagross is like, Psh, I don't give a shit about your cacturn. Take my meteor mash to the face. So meteor mash is gonna hit him right in the chest there. Shove his spikes inward. Kill that cacturn. And that's gonna be the match. That was the 6 0 sweep with Metagross there. Um. So, once again, the team was um, the Electra, the Hydreigon, the Metagross, the Ardeno, the Scrafty, and the Venomoth. Um, he had a pretty, like, solid team. There weren't too many threads, it was just, like, solid, but I hope you guys enjoyed the Stop by the Great Meadow for some Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. I know it wasn't the best quality. Hopefully in the future, um, if this gets more popular, I can, um, I can get a capture card for my 3DS, maybe, and then we don't have to look at these weird lines all over the screen. So, thanks guys for stopping by the Meadow, and remember to stay foxy.